they think they like me. Yeah, am I white? No, 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 baby, smoke so much, don't get some vice. Hey guys welcome to a new video in today's video we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is kth distinct string in an array. A distinct string is a string that is present only once in an array. So we are given an array error which contains many strings and also we are given an integer k that represents the kth distinct string present in the array. If there are less than k distinct string in an array we need to return an empty string. So if you take this example this is the array given to us which contains 6 strings out of which b appears twice, C appears twice, D and A appear once. So those are the distinct strings. So the only distinct strings present in the array are D and A. So the first distinct string is D because it appears first and A is the second distinct string. The value of K is 2 which denotes the kth distinct string. So the second distinct string in the array is A. So we return A as the output. In this case all the strings are distinct and k equal to 1. So we return the first distinct string that is a, a, a as the output. In this case a appears twice, b appears once. So there is only one distinct string b but the value of k is 3. We need to return the third distinct string but there is only one distinct string. As I have mentioned if there are fewer than k distinct strings return an empty string as the output. So we return an empty string as the output. Coming to the function that I have given us where the return type is a string so we have to return a string as the output and the parameters are a string array ara and an integer variable k. Our approach is going to be that we are going to construct a linked hash map because we need to maintain the order of insertion. We are going to fill the linked hash map with the key being the string and the value being the frequency of that string. Now that we'll get the filled hash map, we're going to make a list of all the keys. By so using that filled hash map, we're going to get the keys which have value equal to 1 because distinct strings repeat only once in an array. So the distinct strings value will be equal to 1. We are going to take all the keys that are having the value 1 and push it inside a list. So that list will contain strings which have value equal to 1. So all the strings which have value equal to 1 will be present inside that list. From that list we are going to extract the kth element which will be our output. So let's start off by building linked hash map. The map will contain string as the key and integer as the value. I'm going to name it map. Now let's iterate through the array RR from left to right. To fill the hash map, we're going to check if the element at the ith index position inside the array is present inside the string. String is present inside the map. We're going to increment its frequency by one. So if map dot contains key key here are the strings. So let's access the strings at the ith index position. Error of i. If that string is present inside the map, we'll increment its current frequency with 1. So map.put of error of i, which is a string, and the value is going to be the current frequency, map.get of error of i. We'll increment its frequency by 1. And in the else block, which means that that array element is not present inside the map. So we'll set its frequency to 1. So basically this statement inside the else block will be executed for all distinct elements. From the next time whenever you find it inside the string, as it is already present inside the map, we are going to increment its frequency by 1. So this for loop will execute for all the elements present inside the array and you'll get the filled hash map. So inside this you just have to add the element and set its frequency to 1. Outside the for loop, now let us create the resultant list which will contain the distinct strings. Since it will contain strings, this list will contain string. I'm going to name it list with a lowercase l. Now that we have the list, let us use the entry interface on the map and make a set of entries using a for each loop for map.entry. This entry will be of the same uh, key and value pair as the map. I'm going to name it entry with a lowercase e. You can name this whatever you want. Now let's make a set of entries using the entry set method on the map. Now let's access those values which have value equal to 1 using the entry object. So if entry dot get value is equal to 1. If the value is equal to 1, 
we need to add its respective key inside the list. So list dot add of entry dot get key. So this will happen for all the entries inside the map. It will take one entry at a time from top to down and then we'll get the final list containing the distinct strings. Now let's check this condition if, if there are fewer than k distinct strings. So if list.size is less than k, we can return an empty string. Else we'll return the kth distinct string from the list. The kth distinct string can be accessed by k-1 because the index position starts from 0 in the list. So string result is equal to list dot get of k minus 1. If you just type k, you'll get the next element because index position starts from 0. k minus 1 will give you the kth element. And finally, you can return the result. Now let's try to run the code. We are getting the expected output. a is the second distinct string in this array. Let's submit the code. There you have it, our solution has been accepted. So let's take the same example and see how the code will work. So this is the array given to us, which will contain many strings. And we are also given an integer k, which denotes the kth distinct string. So first we are going to build a hash map for these array elements. We are going to use a linked hash map. So you insert the array elements in this direction. So, the f so in the first iteration, it will take this element. And in the last iteration, it will take this element. So now we have the hash map filled. So we'll iterate through the input array and we'll fill the linked hash map. The keys are going to be the unique elements and the values are going to be its respective frequencies. So from this hash map, we're going to build a list. So this list will contain only those characters which have a frequency equal to one. So D has a frequency equal to one and A has a frequency equal to one. To access these elements, we're going to use the entry interface on the map so that we can access each entry at a time inside the map. So we'll iterate through the linked hash map using the entry set method and we'll access the values using the get value method and the entry object and we'll get these two values and extract those respective characters and insert it inside this list. So in this case, k is equal to 2. So we need to get the second distinct element in the list. The first distinct element is D and the second distinct element is A. So to get the kth distinct element, you're going to use this formula list.get into k-1 because, because inside the list, the index position starts from 0. So k-1 is equal to 2-1 list.get of 1. The element at the first index position inside this list is equal to A. So the result is going to be A. So we'll return A as the output. That's it guys, that's the end of the program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.